Over the past 50 years, well over half of the world's tropical forests have been destroyed. Forested land is still being cut, decimated, or burned at a rate of over a full football field every second of every day. Many vertebrate animal species have already gone extinct as a direct result of this wholesale destruction of their forests in the name of commerce and development. Most scientists agree that within the next 10 to 20 years, if the rate of deforestation continues unabated and unchecked, hundreds or even thousands of the other plant and animal species currently found there will simply disappear. The forests are no longer seen as a wonderful source of biodiversity and as a national heritage and a national treasure to be protected with pride and patriotism, but instead are now seen as a cheap source of money and profits by government officials and corporations. The most recent efforts to destroy the remaining forested regions has been the pursuit of producing oil from genetically cloned palm trees in places where lush tropical forests once stood. Millions and millions of tons are produced now every year. It's, it's a very cheap oil, and it's the, the cheapest oil in world trade, actually. And it's essentially flooding the world's supermarkets. If you look at the ingredients on almost any can of anything in a supermarket, you'll find some reference to palm oil. We greatly fear that, that orangutans, gibbons, and others of our family will be following, will be following into extinction as a result of this, this trade. The demand for palm oil uh, is insatiable. And the government has been using this as an excuse to cut down forest. And they cut down forest in places that are totally unsuitable for growing oil palm but they've got the timber. They won't understand that the, their most valuable resource in the long term is sustainably managed rainforest. That will yield far more economically than any monoculture, any short-term gain you get from cutting the forest down. Because of the lack of uh, effective protection of, of uh, forest, especially in, in Indonesia now. There's a, a huge wholesale conversion of, of lowland forest into, into oil palm plantations. It's uncontrolled. And Borneo essentially is going up in smoke as this process of conversion to palm oil happens. I mean, it is grim, it is desperate, and there have been forecasts by 2020 the forest will be uh, virtually gone if the current trend of activities continues. It's quite extraordinary how much of the rainforest, and especially in Borneo, has been, has been replaced by, um, by palm oil. Uh, Eastern Sabah, for example, in, in, in Malaysia, North Borneo, if you drive through Eastern Sabah, you're driving essentially through one enormous palm oil plantation. Um, not just of one species either, but of one clone of one species. So there's absolutely no biodiversity at all. The oil palm plantations, it's sick because they're not providing local work for local people. They're bringing in their own people from outside and the local people are worse off with their forests gone and with no jobs. So that is really sad and really irresponsible. And I suppose it comes down to the government shouldn't be allowing so much activity from outside. Uh, they should be looking after their people better. 